So what happens when you buy a random 35mm camera off of eBay? One that is under $10? Well, normally you don't have high expectations, but I like to test out cameras and really give them all a chance. So this particular one had a really cool 90s vibe to it because it was see-through. I absolutely loved that. It reminded me of the old iMac computers where you could actually look in and see the components inside. So I had to have it. It has a very cool 90s vibe to it. Very simple functionality, no batteries required, anything like that. So I expected similar results to the Lomo Aquapix and maybe the Vivitar T100, something similar to that. What I did was I found my last roll of Lomography Color Negative F2 400 and I decided to pair it with this camera, this strange looking camera, and see what kind of results that I got. I was actually pretty surprised that most of the results were pretty good, considering that there's no built-in flash or extra features like that. If you like film photography, I recommend looking into some of these really cheap plastic cameras. Not only are they fun to use, but you might be surprised at how good the results are. Now I'm not saying this camera is amazing by any means, because it simply isn't. It's a cheap plastic camera. But if you like Lomography and you like interesting results, more artsy style photos, then these cameras are perfect. I want to give a huge shout out to Old School Photo Lab. They have been my photo lab from the start. They do amazing work processing and scanning my photos. Um, I don't really trust anyone else with my photos because I know that they've been around for a long time. They're experts. They know what they're doing. They're super professional. The results are always exactly what they should be. And there's no guesswork. You know that when you send your photos into oldschoolphotolab.com, you're getting the highest quality service available. So I'm gonna put a link to them in the description. If you're looking for a photo lab, highly recommend them. And if you like film and cameras and cool stuff like that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, here are my results.